Coming up next. eSight 3 eSight 3 has unveiled a smart device for the visually impaired. At first glance, the device is somewhat reminiscent of a VR device, however, it is aimed at helping visually impaired people see better. The device, works as follows cameras, film the area in front of the user. The image is processed by special algorithms to increase contrast and quality, and then displayed onto OLED screens. As a result, an image easily recognized by a visually impaired. The invention is autonomous. The wired module, which also serves as a control panel, has got a built-in battery that can provide six hours of uninterrupted operation. The user can maximize the picture and adjust the amount of transmitted light for the latest glasses. The manufacturer managed to adapt some rapidly developing technologies from smartphones and virtual reality helmets. Perhaps, in the future the development of these areas, will allow eSight to make its own devices cheaper. Gaff Gun Gaff gun is somewhat reminiscent of a vehicle. Two wheels are located in front while the control is provided by a long steering wheel. Such a device makes the task three to four times faster than manually. The cutting mechanism is located on the handle, the weight of the device is 11 pounds, which makes it easy to carry. Gaff gun is made of a durable aluminum and can accommodate two spare rolls. The stacker can also be used for gluing joints and stage coverings, applying signal and warning adhesive tapes to the surfaces, or gluing cables. Facade Fishing Kayak this model of kayak made of polypropylene has got the following dimensions. 33.5 by 16.5 inch wide and high, 132 inch long and weighing 103 pounds. Its main feature is possibly the lateral stabilization due to retractable side blades. This allows standing in the kayak without fear of falling when you need to move to a new place. The blades are simply folded, returning the hydrodynamics to the kayak. The kayak is also equipped with an engine, weighing 40 pounds, which allows reaching a speed of up to 7 miles an hour, with a continuous operation for up to 3 hours on a single fueling. For manual control there are two pedals and a rear wheel. In front, it has got a compartment for storing items and the fish caught. It is best to steer this kayak in slower stagnant waters as it is not well adapted for fast waters and multi-directional currents. 